Well, tomorrow is a CBS 17 Storm Team Alert Day. And tonight, Storm Team Meteorologist Dave Downey is digging deeper into pinpointing just how dangerous the weather could become and what goes into forecasting it. We're barely a week into 2024 in the new year, already giving us severe weather. Level three out of five risk in the Sand Hills, two out of five in the Triangle. We see the tornado threat, the highest in the Sand Hills, with the threat of a strong tornado or two as well. Let's walk through the uncertainty. I'm going to show you two different computer models with differing opinions. Here's model number one. Has rain in the morning, around the morning commute. It'll clear out by late morning, according to this model, especially the farther south that you go. Then storms get going by three out ahead of the main line back to the west. These storms would be capable of producing tornadoes. As the main line moves in, quick spin-ups definitely possible along the line, along with, of course, fierce straight line winds. The line moves east. It's off the coast by 9. Here's model number two has the same idea of that morning rain, 7 a.m., but here's the key difference. It has rain sticking around through lunchtime, a lot of it there, keeping us a few degrees cooler and the severe threat lower. There could still be some spin-ups along or ahead of the line, but the threat overall would not be quite as high with this solution. So you don't those hot reds, hot oranges, that threat would be a lot lower in this model's mind. Let's sum it all up here. We do not want to see the sun. That's kind of point number one here. Warmer temps, more sun means more energy and a higher overall threat. If that morning rain sticks around through lunchtime, that will keep us from getting anywhere close to 70, which would be good news for that severe threat. Stay with the storm team tonight and tomorrow. Dave Downey, CBS 17 News.